Okay, so there's been some interest in building neutron detectors and our neutron generators. And, um, make sure our Geiger counter is working. So, I have some americium sources here. I got these out of an industrial smoke detector. I made a video about that. Uh, they're. I'm going to guess they're about 40 microcuries each, because there's two of them, and the detector said it was 80 microcuries. So, make sure we're in frame. One side's a lot hotter than the other, because it emits the alphas from there. I remember, alphas are blocked. Okay, can we see that? By a piece of paper, or even aluminum foil. So that's definitely the side the alphas are coming out of. And here's just a little piece of aluminum foil that I happen to have. And here's some scissors. Okay, so I did a video on these neutron bubble detectors. I bought a couple of them. I think it cost me about $500 to buy two of them. And uh, they're kind of handy measuring neutrons, I got the most sensitive ones. I mean, who knows uh, if you can get these anymore because the world has gone completely mad since I bought these. And uh, the media has taken over and just, just like uh, what they say, it's uh, easier to manipulate people when they are terrified. So it's, it's like the uh, you read the certain protocols, which I can't say what they are, um, for it's actually the communist takeover of the world. That one of the one of the things they do is they like to uh, cause panic, order out of chaos, right? And uh, it's like the headless horsemen, in, in their own words, and they will become the head. They they uh, guide the mob. Mob rules, right? So this is our uh, anyway. I'm diversing a little bit. This is our uh, very interesting detector, very simple. You just uh, depressurize it, and then it's ready to start detecting neutrons. And let's uh, get a piece of tape here. One of the most inv amazing inventions ever. And I fold over one of the corners so I can pull it off easy. So let's uh, take our... Um, alpha particle source and alpha particles can be used to generate uh, fusion reactions sometimes if you use the right materials and this is just ordinary aluminum foil now beryllium works a lot better for making neutrons but I've been told read it someplace that there is a certain cross-section for alpha particles to create a fusion reaction with aluminum and oops let's drop that one let me cut another piece so let's uh let's test that out so alpha particles don't go through paper they don't go through a lot of things so you need to put the aluminum foil very close to Keep it on top of our alpha source. You can see through the tape. It's right there. And uh, we have our... So this is kind of like a, a bubble chamber. It depressurizes this uh, gel up in here. And the gel will form bubbles. And according to their calibration, it's about 22... Uh, uh, yeah, I don't understand that. Bubbles per millirem. Okay. So this is the most sensitive detector that they had. This company is in California, or, uh, Canada. But who knows if they're in business because just like Stalin did, forcing people out of business uh, at gunpoint, all the governments of the world seem to be doing that because they've all been taken over by the, you know what, the N... W-O-W-A
and all of uh, the internet has been censored. I kind of knew this was going to happen, or something was going to happen, because being a creator on YouTube, they have been uh, really censoring everything that I do. They've just been draconian, uh, just developing algorithms to censor, listen to your voice, listen to everything. And so I figured they're going to pull some kind of shenanigan like this where they needed to censor. Yeah, they couldn't get away with it if they didn't uh, silence the masses. And so looks like this is what it is. So here we are. Welcome to uh, Police State America. And uh, so let's, anyway, we'll run this guy overnight and uh, see if the americium and the aluminum generate any bubbles in this novel detect, uh, detector here. I'll set it someplace so it doesn't get damaged. And you're supposed to run that for about 24 hours. And it should be interesting because uh, using aluminum, aluminum is a lot easier, aluminum foil, a lot more readily available than um, beryllium. Although, who knows, once the depression starts, uh, whether you'll be able to even get food, so we'll see what happens. Okay. Anyway, I'll let that run for 24 hours, and we'll check out it tomorrow. Okay. Okay. I guess I forgot to stop my experiment. I'll let it run a little bit longer than it was supposed to. Um, maybe it's going to need it though, because aluminum is not supposed to be as good of a neutron generator as um. This beryllium. Okay, so we're about five hours past the 24 hour mark. And, uh, tell you what, I'm not really seeing any bubbles in there. Okay. Wait, is that. Let me take a look under here. You know what, maybe, maybe I'll let this run for a little bit longer and see if it does produce any bubbles. Okay. We're still over. Okay, so let me, yeah, see I don't see any bubbles in there at all. Okay, let's just do this thing back up. And we'll let it run for a little bit longer, because aluminum is supposed to produce neutrons, I believe. There's a fusion reaction, but it's a lot lower than the beryllium one. So let's run it. Let it I'll, maybe I'll let it run for two days and see if we produce any bubbles. Okay. Maybe this is the way to make the uh, detector more sensitive. Okay, so we'll let it run for a little bit longer. Okay, okay I uh, ended up running my uh, americium... Uh, aluminum uh, neutron generator there's a piece of aluminum and the americiums underneath there I ran it for an extra day and it looks like that paid off so this would be the half the sensitivity of normal since it was uh, 48 hours and it looks like there is one bubble there and uh, of course the sources on the internet do say that this should generate neutrons of course, the beryllium source generated two or three neutrons in, in the normal 24 hours. This is 22 uh, bubbles per millirem, this particular detector. It's one of the most sensitive bubble detectors that they had. And so <clears throat> the uh, amount of neutrons generated by the americium aluminum neutron generator is much lower than beryllium. Beryllium is much better, but aluminum is much easier to uh, let me take this all the way off to get a hold of so you can see there's a bubble right up there at the top definitely a nice big bubble and so <clears throat> looks like our experiment was a success let's uh, try to keep these under compression so they last longer so when you're done with uh, these guys. You recompress them with the cylinder here, put them back under pressure, and uh, uh, can you see the bubble there? 
It's going to disappear in a second when I squeeze it down. Okay, and I guess it takes a little while after you put it to pressure to um, completely disappear, but it, it shrinks in size, and then it eventually disappears. Okay, anyway, this is uh, Dr. Jane's, and thanks for watching.